Hi, welcome to Zaza Line. Uh, today we are making this, uh, um, not notebook, but um, a document folder, uh, holder organizer. Um, it has uh, lots of pockets. This is uh, a pocket. You can put whatever you want in there. Um, there is one pocket for money or it's kind of a hidden pocket so nobody can see um, there is one slot here could be for a phone and uh, pens uh, there is another pocket right here um, we can also use this pocket so it has um, many many pockets it's versatile it's uh, uh, if you are working um, and um, you need to have uh, things all together um, Maybe a little uh, laptop would work uh, in here too, uh, a small one or tablet. Um, so uh, yeah, this is uh, what we are going to be making today. Um, it's not too difficult um, if you follow my steps. It's uh, pretty easy. Um, so I hope uh, you will enjoy this tutorial and let's get started. There are lots of pieces that we are going to need today, um, lots of little pieces. Uh, it's not difficult, um, we just have to uh, make sure that we put uh, the small pieces uh, where they belong. Um, so this is the uh, main panel and it consists of three uh, pieces. You can uh, do just one if you don't want to have uh, different uh, colors. Just uh, one main panel would be fine. Um, a logo and uh, a long zipper. We will need at least one yard um, long zipper. And then the inside consist of a few things so we will have two big um, pockets right here this is the uh, the binding on the side uh, just to cover the raw edges because we will have a few uh, this is the pvc pocket this is the big pocket and then this is the inside pocket and the binding and on the other side we will have uh, only one pocket but it's going to be a zipper pocket so for zipper, zipper pocket we will need uh, uh, the edges for the zippers and uh, then we will need the top and the bottom fabric that will connect to uh, the uh, pvc pocket and then we have of course one big pocket right here we will be working from outside in so because there are so many pieces we have to be a little organized so let's work on the uh, main panel first so what i'm gonna do um, first i will uh, attach these pieces so the pieces will go like this um, and we will top stitch on this side and top stitch on this side when we flip it over, this is how we uh, top stitched on the other side. When we uh, flip it over, now we are going to top stitch on both sides up here and here. Just a few notes, uh, the material I'm using. This is vinyl, this is cotton, and uh, the uh, rest of it is uh, um, waxed canvas. So on one side it's wax, so it's um, it makes it kind of waterproof or water resistant. It's a little bit stiffer, so I don't have to use any interfacing. Um, and when it comes to interfacing, I will be using uh, a few. I want to make it a little softer. So um, this is the fusible fleece, and also. Uh, this one is the um, uh, home decor. It is a little stiffer and uh, I will put it on the back of this uh, panel. So that's going to be my next, uh, not next. The next one is uh, I will attach my uh, logo. So uh, this is going to be in half and I have to find half of the half. So I will probably put it on uh, the bottom 
and uh, and then I will attach the uh, interfacing on the other side. I attach the uh, fusible fleece first, um, and that is so it's nice and soft. So it's going to be a little little softer and now i need to put something a little bit uh more for structure because uh it is kind of still flimsy it's not really um uh, as hard as i would like it to be now i'm gonna attach uh, or fuse the uh, decor bond on top and uh, and that will be more for structure so it's gonna be uh, a little stiff and soft at the same time and that's uh, what i'm trying to achieve here okay so this one is done so that's the outer panel so we attach the logo um, i put uh, a fusible fleece and uh, a decor bond uh, so that's uh, the outer panel we can put that on a side for now and uh, there's one more piece that I need to fuse and uh, I didn't uh, choose anything too heavy. This is for the uh, other pocket and uh, so let's uh, fuse these two together. Um, nothing else, that's the last piece uh, because I'm using the waterproof canvas uh, which is quite stiff and uh, I don't need to uh, use any interfacing for that. If um, you are using just cotton you will have to use uh, um, interfacing for uh, most of your fabrics now we are going to be working on the lining of the main panel so uh, on the inside we will have uh, four pieces that we have to put together and i will explain what the pieces are so this is how it's gonna look and uh, these areas these two pieces these two spots they are for the zipper to hide the zipper inside so uh, now what we have to do let's work on the uh, middle we will I need my clippers we will bend it a little bit about a half centimeter And we will attach it to this other piece. And we will just sew on the side. We will do both pieces. And we want to make sure that it's going to be the same length. So when we do this piece, then we will do the same thing on this side and attach it right in here there we go so it should come together like this and then we will go to the sewing machine and we are just gonna stitch the sides we want this to be open because this is where we are gonna hide the zipper later on so uh Side here, side, side, side. Because it is a waxed canvas and it's a it has a, a um, kind of like a vinyl coating on the other side. It sticks and uh, it doesn't uh, glide smooth. So that's why I'm using this uh, piece of paper. And that way it's going to go nicely with, uh, with the rest of the, uh, uh, the, the fabric is going to glide nice, nicer. So we just want to uh, do the edges just to attach the sides so we have uh, this opening. 
later on we will close it but for now we just need to have it open so we can uh, slide the zipper end Okay, so this is how it should look like. So we just uh, stitch the sides on both sides. We have a little opening and that's how it looks on the other side. Now we are gonna attach the other two panels. So we will uh, put them right side together. We will top stitch right in here. Now when we have the one side done, we will work on the other side. So we will have to uh, attach this other side and we will do the same thing we did. Sorry. So we will open it up. We will put them right side in. So we have the right side touching, facing each other. And we will top stitch right in here. And then when we open it up, it's gonna look like this. Okay, so let's go back to the machine. We will top stitch, open it up. And then what we can do is uh, do a top stitch. We can uh, iron it a little bit so it's nice and flat and easy to sew. And then we can top stitch on here and on the other side. Okay, so I'm back and this is how it's supposed to look like. So we did both sides. We have these uh, two openings here and we top stitch on top of here. So that's the uh, panel that will go on the inside of the, uh, the front panel. So this is how it's gonna be. So this is basically like a lining of the panel. And uh, now we, we are going to attach the, uh, the pocket. So we are going to work on the pockets now. Okay, so we can work on uh, this uh, middle pocket. So we have the lining. We put some uh, interfacing on the other side. And uh, now we will put them the uh, right side together. And we will top stitch on the top. Okay, so we have top stitched and now we will flip it over and we will top stitch again on top here. And that's all we have to do for this pocket. Now we will work on the uh, other smaller pocket. That's the, uh, the clear pocket. And uh, we are going to put this uh, lining around so it uh, has a nice uh, edge. And uh, what we will do first, we will uh, fold it in half. And this is what's going to happen when you put a hot iron and you leave it there for too long uh, because it has this uh, coating. Uh, it's kind of like a, a, a plasticky feel on the other side and uh, when the iron is there for too long it actually melts so uh, be careful don't leave it there for too long or just reduce the uh, temperature on your uh, iron uh, so now what we will do we will put the uh, uh, wrong side up for me it's the uh, melted side up I'm gonna leave it because nobody's gonna see it it's gonna be hidden uh, and now we will top stitch right in here when we finish this uh, top stitching we will flip it over and that's why we did the midline because now it's gonna be easier to fold it over like this and we will just uh, fold it and Let's secure it. 
do the same here. And now we will go back and we will top stitch right here. And this is how it looks when it's uh, done, top stitch, and this pocket is done. We are going to prep the zipper and I already uh, got my uh, little pieces ready. So you will uh, bend it in half or fold it in half and then in half again. And this is what you want to end up with. So I will do uh, uh, both of these and that's going to be the uh, ends for the zippers. So then we will put them in here. And do the same on the other side. Okay, make sure that the uh, length of the zipper is the same length as the other pockets. Because uh, now we are going to do the same thing on uh, this piece. We will do exactly the same thing what we did in here. And then we will uh, sew this part right there we should have these three parts ready so the zipper with the uh, two ends and uh, the uh, the vinyl or the the pvc um, the edge done and uh, we will prep one of these things so uh, Again, you fold it in half, you can iron it, and uh, we have to do a little adjustment. This is a little bit too long, so we will uh, cut it to make it a little shorter. So it's not sticking out. Can be a little bit uh, longer than the width of the uh, zipper. So this is good. And uh, now we will go and uh, both pieces we will sew in here. So try to go as close to the zipper as you can. You will probably have to insert your zipper foot. I'm sorry, my nose is very stuffed up. I suffer from allergies. And this is the allergy season. Okay. So let's just make sure it's at the edge. Like this. So we will go and top stitch right here, close to the zipper. Right there. Okay, so this is how it should look like. So we uh, flipped it over, we did top stitch in here. Uh, so all the sides will be nice, uh, uh, nicely done around the zipper. Now we will take the, uh, the pocket and we will attach it on the bottom. So we are gonna do a nice top stitch right here. We should have it ready like this and uh, when it's all secure you will just top stitch all around just to secure the pockets in and plus on this one we will do top stitch right here on the top we finished both sides so the uh, the pockets are secure we have this one we can get inside and now we are gonna make it pretty because we have the raw edges here. We will take uh, one piece and it's up to you what color you would like to use. You can use uh, the same color as here or uh, this one. Um, it's just on this side, I don't have any, uh, any accent color. So I decided I will uh, do uh, the orange one. So we will put the uh, right side in facing the right sides are facing each other and we will clip them okay. 
And we are slowly getting to the end. Well, we still have to attach the zipper. So we will do this side. And then don't forget, this one is going to be here. This one's going to be here. So we have to do this side. And again, the good sides facing each other. So we are looking at the wrong side. Okay, so we will go back to the sewing machine and we are just going to stitch here. When we have attached this uh, binding on one side, we will flip it over. And basically we are just wrapping the uh, the wrong edges. So we just want uh, them to, uh, to look nice and clean. So we will uh, flip it. Or fold it, not flip it, fold it and fold it again. So it should be folded here. So it's gonna cover the stitching. <clears throat> this is the other side of the pocket, so it's not really gonna be visible. But just make sure that uh, this is uh, this is folded here. So you fold it once and you go over. Make it nice and tight and clip it. Okay, one side is up, we will do the other side, the same thing, so we will flip it over, we will top stitch right there on both sides, a top stitch. We are going to take the lining not the outer panel but the inside panel and we will attach these two pockets on the uh, outside make sure that it's uh, it's flushed on this side on the outside and we will clip them all around We will do the same thing on this side. Okay. So if you want, you can just go around. And, and then when everything is done, we will the, cut the corners after. When we go around, we will just cut out the, um, the corners so they are not straight because it would be hard to do. Um, but um, these uh, pockets are secured to the uh, lining. Now we will take the zipper and we have about one yard of zipper. We will split it, take only one side and then the good side, the, the teeth, you will, be, you will see the teeth. So they are facing up, you, you see them. This is the wrong side, this is the good side. So the good side goes up. And we will leave a little piece because then we are gonna tuck the zipper inside. So um, leave um, about this much and then clip the zipper all around. We are slowly getting there, a few more steps and we are done. Okay, and you just go all around. I will do this um, uh, off screen. And then you will take the zipper and you will do exactly the same thing. So 
again you will go like this and you go all around so I have attached the zipper on both sides so uh, as you can see you have to see the teeth of the zipper and now I will uh, attach the uh, zipper pull okay so once you attach the zipper pull you go all around make sure that it's all nice and flush this is how it should look like and then what you do you let go on one side and then you will start again on this side you open it up and you start again Get this one just a little bit longer I always struggle with the zipper zipper pull I mean okay so once you get there you go right in here and then you separate the rest okay and you push this one inside like this and you do the same thing on the other side So you go on the inside and you pull it out through the hole. So then we have them right in here and we can cut them the same size. So now what we are going to do is we are going to secure the zipper right in here. So we will top stitch here and we will top stitch right here. Okay, so this is done. So we did it on both sides. So now the zipper is secure and it's not going to go anywhere. So that's, uh, that's what we wanted to achieve and we are slowly getting to the end so now we are going to take the uh, the front panel and we will attach it to the uh, liner and the pocket so we will just go around and um, you can do the uh, the corners here too just make them a little round and um, just go all around and um, and then we will do the binding on the outer edge and that's it okay so this is what we have so far we have all the pockets we have the zipper attached um, we secure the zipper so now the last thing is to do the uh, binding so we have one long piece and we can start somewhere let's start on the bottom here and so we will start right here we will attach it or clip it all around go as close to the zipper as possible so as close as possible then when we are done the stitching we will flip it around and the same like we did this part we will turn it and then we will go one more time but let's first work on this side when you get to the end um, just make sure you overlap um, by a few inches 
and then just cut a little bit on an angle and then when we go around we will fold this go like this and over and that way you're not gonna even notice that uh, um, we had to overlap and it's not gonna come apart so now when we did the first uh, layer we will flip it over and it's getting together it's almost done all the hard work okay and now we just have to do it right here so again don't forget to overlap here and we will fold and make sure all the stitching here all this is covered so just uh that's why we cut uh, two inches we did it a little bit thicker so we can uh, go all the way here all the way and just clip it prepare it So this is how it looks after you do the binding. Um, it is, uh, you just have to make sure that the stitches underneath are not showing. And uh, I think it uh, turned out pretty good. So this is it. We have two pockets. We have uh, uh, pockets, little pockets here. And uh, we can easily close it. And there we go. This is our final project. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it easy to follow. And um, if you have any suggestions, uh, please leave a comment. Um, and I will see you next time uh, when we make uh, something else. Okay, I'm just going to show you how to attach this patch onto a project. Um, I could have done embroidery on the front panel first before sewing, uh, but sometimes it's just easier to uh, make a patch and attach it later. Um, so uh, the um, other side is already uh, um, heat activated. So um, all you need is to iron it on and um, I'm gonna show you. So you have to make sure the iron is hot enough and because this is vinyl, I have to be very careful. And I'm going to have some uh, designs, some patches on my website. So you can check them out. Um, so let's put that in the middle. And so you want to put a, a piece of fabric on top so uh, you don't damage the uh, the patch make sure it's straight and in the middle it should be kind of in the middle with the uh, label I think that's good enough 
let's put it on and we will just keep the iron on just stay away from the vinyl if you are using vinyl or heat sensitive material and I'm just gonna hold it in place for about eight seconds okay I have vinyl on the other side but that one is cool so that's okay let's try a little bit more And these patches are great for uh, items that you can't do embroidery on. So let's see how it... Oh, it's still hot, but it's... I think it's done. Maybe a little bit more. And this patch is not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay on. Okay, the other side is still cool. Yeah, because I have the vinyl here. I have to be careful. No, nope, I think that's it. That's, that's that. Very easy to apply these patches. Very easy. Ta-da! The final project done. Um, I'm actually quite pleased how it turned out. Um, I'll have to wash the vinyl a little bit. I see my fingerprints in there. Um, but yeah, we can uh, put um, all kinds of things in there. So I did my shopping in dollar store. And all this is going to fit in. So I have a nice notebook we can put these ones here or maybe the other way let's put these ones there and these ones in here and we still have one pocket lift here there we go all done I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you are going to join me for uh, next project. Um, I might do a video how to uh, make patches like this. Um, of course you have to have your embroidery machine. Um, and uh, I will have some designs on uh, my website if you don't know how to digitize. Um, I will be putting some uh, new ones there um, every few days. Um, yeah, so I hope I will see you next time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.